Space 10 is a, is a future living lab and we use a lot of time about actually trying to see what kind of future do we actually want. I don't think the future is about predicting it, I think it's about shaping it. And what kind of future do we desire to live in? And I think what, how the world is changing right now is crazy. So the only thing constant that we can be certain of is, is change. But I still think that, that we can see sort of the weak signals, the trends that are actually going on today that are just going to have a lot more influence uh, tomorrow. So to use a cliche, the future is already here, it's just not evenly distributed. We're going to own less and less. I think in the future it's about accessing things. So we do it now with music and with movies and TV shows, but it could also be with our homes or, or all our stuff. So imagine just paying one lease and then you have access to apartments all across the world. You have complete flexibility in order to move around where you please. If you want to take a weekend on the countryside, you do that. If you need to study abroad for a year, you access that. So looking at how can we share more things but still keep our private space, which is fundamental uh, for all of us. We need it, uh, but it's about maybe rethinking how our entire infrastructure works. It's tough to answer whether open source can be, I think it's like with any other tools, that uh, it can be, when things are open, we cannot control them. Um, but then interesting things are happening in terms of, of blockchain, uh, where we can then actually integrate these things. And I think that is what we're going to do as a human race. We're constantly going to find solutions to the new problems that occur. So when self-driving cars are entering the market, for example, we're going to see that we're not going to have enough organs for people who need it because we don't have that many car accidents. Uh, so that means we're going to lack a lot of organs. So maybe we're going to start to 3D print uh, human tissue and actually print organs. I think we're going to find a solution to it. I'm, not, I'm, I'm optimistic. Seriously, I think we are an incredible room of people, people who are creative, people who are designers, people who are architects in a lot of creative fields. And I think it's about asking why do you actually do what you want to do? Like, what, what's the purpose with it? What is the vision of it? And we, have, we are more empowered than, in a, than ever before. We have the tools, we have the knowledge, like any teenager on YouTube can teach you something new that you don't know if, if you want to learn something new. I mean, it's an incredible time. So all we need is actually a decision to say, I'm going to take advantage of this. I'm actually going to use the tools, the knowledge, the, the community, the people to actually create an impact and move uh, the planet in a better direction.